They say that we are oppressed, yet we are not, and they have not any proof that we are oppressed or that any women in Denmark are forced to wear it. They say we are a threat to the nation's security, yet Naqab has never been any means to committing any crime at all. And I would just like to educate the politicians and say that, you know, we are actually strong, independent women who are fighting for their right to keep wearing what they want to wear. And that we won't give up. I mean, like, as long as they try to discriminate us and as long as they are um, making use of this hateful rhetoric, we're just going to get stronger and we're just going to hold on to our niqab and our identity even more. So this kind of rhetoric and this racist discourse is not doing any good for the politician or politicians or the country. should have the opportunity to look your people in the eye and see each other's faces because there is so so much uh, going on in your non-verbal uh, ex uh, expressions and yeah so no one's going to tell me what to wear so why should I tell them to what they want to wear Everyone has an opinion of why we wear it. Everyone has an opinion of how we live our lives, why we choose to wear it, uh, and so on. Uh, but unfortunately, everyone talked about us and no one actually talked to us or listened to us. We are approximately about 50 women who, in Denmark who wear the naqab. And we are a minority within a minority. We are, we are very few. And we have created this very tight and safe community for ourselves. Um, and that just shows that the government is actually using money, using time and power to discriminate against 50 women. Even before the ban, but also like after. Uh, we have had people spit on us. We have multiple of uh, niqab wearing women have their niqabs ripped off their faces. Um, so we are victims of a lot of hate crimes. I do understand that some people find a niqab strange. I have totally respect for that. Uh, because it is maybe something which is strange in this society. But in Denmark, we are taught to be free thinkers. We are taught to reflect and we are taught to always find your own way and take that road. Uh, and that is exactly what I'm doing.